This video is about the population standard deviation. A couple of preliminary notes. Um, there are two forms of the standard deviation. One's a population and the other is a sample standard deviation. We are talking about a population standard deviation when we're considering a group as a whole. We're talking about a sample standard deviation when we're taking statistics or data uh, scores from a larger group. So a quick example, if I'm talking about uh, examining the results of my whole year 10 maths class and I'm using all scores in my analysis, I'm talking about a population. If I'm taking out 5 or 6 or 10 or anything less than the whole class, I'm talking about a sample. And um, that has uh, implications for our formulae. Um, what's shown on the screen there is for a population standard deviation, but... Uh, for a sample standard deviation, we need to make one main, or two, I suppose, uh, minor changes. And the first one is instead of the lowercase, uh, lowercase Greek sigma there, that's what that is, a Greek sigma um, in lowercase, we use the uh, normal S lowercase and X as well. And we do subtract one from the denominator when we're talking about a sample standard deviation. So we do that because there's more variation in a sample than a whole population. So by we can reduce, uh, sorry, increase that variation by uh, reducing our denominator. You might want to take a moment or two to think about that if you wish, but that's the reason it's done. Uh, another couple small notes. Firstly, um, often in textbooks they use the Greek letter mu that's that one there, uh, to indicate the uh, mean of a population. We are using X bar like that. So if you see that Greek letter mu, uh, that be aware that uh, they are talking about a population standard deviation and it should be matched to the lowercase sigma right there. And by the way, we probably all know that that is sigma and it's uppercase Greek sigma. So uppercase uh, sigma, lowercase sigma. Okay, so I guess the only other thing to note is, well, what is a standard deviation? And I guess um, in simple terms, it's a measure of the amount of variation or uh, dispersion in a set of values. So a low standard deviation is going to indicate that the values tend to be closer to the mean uh, compared to a higher standard deviation, uh, indicating that the scores might be uh, more spread out. If I've got two classes of uh, maths and I've got one with a standard deviation of five, and the other uh, with a standard deviation of 10. There's nothing particularly suspicious about that, but what it does mean is that in the second set, um, the scores, second class rather, the scores would have been spread out a bit more. So let's go ahead and um, work on our first um, calculation of a population standard deviation. So my advice here is be driven by the formula. And what I mean by that is you know, you don't have to memorise how to set up a, a fancy table like this. As long as you know the formula or have access to it, you should be okay. And let's have a look at it uh, a bit more closely. Um, what it's indicating is that I need a couple um, data items. Firstly, probably, the uh, I need the population mean. And the other big item is the number of scores. Okay, so with that and with the scores themselves indicated by X, I've got all the information I need. So let's calculate the mean first, and you know how to do that. Here are all the scores down this column here, and all I need to do is add them all up. That comes to 30, and divide by the number of scores, which is 6. You know, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows, 6 scores. So 30 divided by 6 is 5. So my formula is telling me what I need to do is take each score and subtract from it the mean. In other words, 5. And that's what the next column's about. So I've headed up a column, x take x bar um, here. So x take x bar. So all I need to do is do that, which is go 3 take 5 is negative 2. And... 4 take 5 is negative 1, etc. So that's my x take x bar column. And where I'm up to so far in my formula is completing a column for that bit there. 
Now the formula is telling me what I need to do next is square the um, each score in the previous column. So you can see that negative 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, etc, etc. Now we do that because if I didn't and I added up all my differences in this column here, the result would be, in this case, 0. Well, that's no good. It's going to mean that the whole numerator comes to 0, uh, which divided by anything is still 0, and I'd have a standard deviation of 0. That would happen pretty well every time. So that's no good. Um, what I need to do is square each one. Um, so that uh, each difference is positive, and then I'll get a non-zero um, numerator. Okay, so that's that. Now, um, so what have I done? I have added up the uh, x take x bar all squared column and come up with the number of 16 right there. And now you're pretty well good to go because it's as simple as this. If the standard deviation is going to equal 16 over the number of scores in my data set, 6. So that's how I got to there. Okay, now that equals 1.633 to three decimal places. And But if you want to put leave it in third form, please do so. I like it because it's what we call exact form. And it can be written either as 4 over the square root of 6, or if you're a real keen mathematician, rationalize the denominator and you'll get 4 root 6 on 6 which equals 2 root 6 on 3 so that is absolutely deluxe answer there because it's in exact form all right i've got one for you to do on the next slide so why don't you have a go at that and um, following the steps in the previous slide so you can go back to that to see how it was done and uh, press pause and when you come back you will see the answers so here is here's the work solution to the one you've just done hopefully that went well for you and um, press pause if you want to examine it and here are some exercises for you to do fairly stock standard um, drill and practice types there and there you can find the well it's asking you to find the standard deviation and mean but of course you need the mean in order to find the standard deviation. Here, try it using a dot plot and stem and leaf plot. Press pause and unpress to see the answers. So here are the answers, which you might want to pause on. So that's it for me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now.